Hey everybody, this is Amanda from Amanda's Budgets. I'm here to do my cash stuffing for the last week of November. And I am glad that it's over. <laughs> I'm ready for December. I'm actually ready for 2023. This has been a really tough year. Um, I do appreciate all my new subscribers. If you are a new subscriber to my channel, um, I am a all-cash budgeter. I do zero-based budgeting. I follow to the best of my ability, the Dave Ramsey process where I go through each baby step. Um, I am currently trying to um, gain an emergency fund, pay off some debts, and save money so that way myself and my husband and my kids can buy a house. Um, we are currently in the process of um, talking to individuals like um, mortgage lenders real estate agents. We are trying to figure out where we fall into place in that. Um, so we will know more at the beginning of the year. We have been self-employed for two years doing gig jobs. I am 33 years old. My husband is 29 and we are um, just continuing on this journey. Um, so as you guys can tell, this is super exciting. For the first time in a long time, Everything on this top section, which is for my bills, which is going in my bills binder, is highlighted. Which means that we made enough money to make it through all of our bills for the last week of this month. But, even better news, we have a lot of these lovely, fancy $1 bills with a couple of zeros at the end to add to our binder today as well as some additional funds elsewhere. So let's go ahead and count this money up. This money came from a side hustle. This money came from our um, regular weekly work week as well as um, we, we did end up finally getting the money from lost wages. Um, however, it was not the amount at all that we expected. Um, it was a percentage of the time that we were unable to do two of our three gig apps. So, um, it is a little less, well, a lot less than I anticipated, but it's going to cover our bills and that's all that matters. So, I am super excited. Um, our um, financial journey has been really rough because I have had two issues with my car in the last um, probably six months um, since I started my channel. So let's go ahead and get this counted and that way we can see what we can delegate where. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, a thousand. So this is a thousand. I can tell you this is the most I've cash stuffed in a really, really long time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Makes 900. 20, 40, 60, 81. Makes 2,000. 20, 40, 60, 70, and 5. Um, I did add $5 into a savings challenge as well to get a little bit of change to hopefully try to stuff my wallet. Um, I did not get proper change when um, we cashed the check-in for the lost wages. Um, I forgot to tell my husband about that. That's okay. Not his bad. That would be my bad. But I am just excited that we even got that money. Um, I was really kind of like in destitute mode where I was not sure. I was like, are we going to have a place? Are we going to have a roof? Are we going to have, you know, three hots, a cot, you know, internet? Are we going to have those things? Um, I also did want to let you know, I did find um, some lovely coins in my change. Um, this is a 50 cent piece from 1776 to 1976. And then a um dollar coin and then a silver dollar i haven't seen a silver dollar in so long or a 50 cent piece i think even when i worked retail for the longest time i would barely see them anymore so i'm going to keep those those are not going in my coin jar because there's something special i can show my boys but let's go ahead and get into the cash stuffing 
I might have, you know, issues with denominations for um, some of these bills. So I did add a little bit of additional money to one of my bills and we'll go over that. So I had to unstuff some money from housing to pay for my car payment. But my car payment is paid for the month of November. Got paid on time, actually a day ahead of time. So um, the 175 that's highlighted here for my car payment has already been accounted for. So we're gonna go ahead and start stuffing our rent. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 and 12. This is going to be the last month that my rent is $1,200. It will go up to 13 as of the um, beginning of the year. So 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000, 1 and 2. So that's going into housing. I am not anticipating that things are going to get any lower next year, but we are going to do what we can with what we've got, and that's all that matters. So December rent is now covered, which is really super exciting because I actually didn't think that was going to happen. Um, I did put in for some assistance um, for rent through a few churches in my community, um, just in case this money did not come through because... Honestly, the person that we were working with was going to go on vacation before this check was issued out. So we weren't even sure when that check was going to get to us. So um, we will deal with, you know, the rent situation as it comes. Um, I do anticipate on hearing back from these um, few places Um and see what, what um, I could do from there forward. Uh, maybe this will go to January. I, I'm not sure. Um, I did talk to my landlord about this as well. She knew that we were in dire straits at the time. So she was being a little more lenient than usual as well, which was really nice of her. Um, utilities is not getting stuffed. Internet's not getting stuffed. Phone is not getting stuffed. Car payment is not getting stuffed. Insurance does have half the insurance in here. The reason I put half of this insurance, is insurance money in here for my car um, was because I didn't think I could make that full um, amount. And I'm actually going to be stuffing a little less because it is, um, it was supposed to be for 180 but um, my actual payment is 166 so I will still have a little extra it's just not going to be the full 180. Um, so we're going to stuff the amount that we have listed here. So 20, 40, 60, 80. As long as it gets covered and I am covered for work, that's all that matters to me. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, and 50. That doesn't seem right. So I already re-recorded this video once because you can hear my husband talking in the background. I think I messed up and I didn't put another 20 in here because I think there was 70 in here before. Yep, there is 70 in there before. So 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, and 70. So we have all of our car insurance money. And then I think that that's it for, oh no, it is not it. Personal bill. Personal bill, bill gets $220, which is an additional $6 from what I had listed here, which was $214 because I don't have the right denominations, but that's okay. An extra $6 will just help the money that I owe um, go down six extra dollars. So one, two, and 20. And we'll put that into miscellaneous. I need to make a personal. Um, envelope and um, get my label maker out and do that but I haven't done that lately because I need to get new tape for my label maker so everything is covered in here let's see if we can cover everything in our wallet um, I'm still gonna be pretty stingy about what I stuff in here um, as far as I'm not gonna overstuff my wallet I'm not gonna think that I have all this 
spending money um, to go and blow um, on whatever junk that I might need, want, whatever. So we have nothing for oil change. We don't need an oil change yet. We haven't drove our car enough to do an oil change yet. Dining out's getting nothing. Laundry will get $10. I do not have a washer and dryer in my unit. Um, so the um, laundry mat is where we have to go and it's fairly expensive. Um, I don't really like utilizing that, um, but it is what it is. Um, I'm going to actually... Let's see. I'm going to add a 20 into pet supplies. So, that would be an additional $14. I cannot add today. Um, mainly because my brain has been fried. I have not been sleeping right. I haven't been sleeping long enough. Um, I just... I haven't been sleeping. I don't know why. Maybe from stress. Stress can do that. Um, let's go ahead and highlight these if I can find my highlighter. I don't think I am going to find my highlighter. So I'm just going to use this pen. So Pet Supplies has some money in it. Any additional money that I don't spend on pets, I will just keep rolling that over because pet food is so expensive. We do have a geriatric couple of animals that need additional care, which always costs more and it's frustrating because I love my pets and I... I want to provide for my pets, but they are expensive, especially since we have so many of them as well. So this is now done. So we'll put that aside. And we have some money left over. So we have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, and then 25. The 25, I'm going to go ahead and roll over into this envelope, which already has some cash in it, for our savings challenges. So this has now got an additional $25 in it. I do have to pull my money from Buy Me A Coffee. I did have two um, subscribers um, go ahead and donate to that. You guys, I appreciate you. I have not forgotten about the funds. I am going to be also adding that into that envelope as well um, for my savings challenge um, video and that will definitely keep things rolling. Um, so this one, two, three, four, and five is actually going to go to a special spot and that's in here. I did add my high priority envelopes back into this binder because everything was getting all scattered and messed up and jacked up and I just couldn't deal with it. It was just everything was jumbled everywhere. So we have $500 to go into our emergency fund. So that is funding half of our emergency fund. I literally could cry right now. I did not think that this was going to happen so quickly. I thought it was going to take me months to get that money. So that's the end of this video. If you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button, give me a like on this video, share this video, and give me a comment below. Um, let me know about a time in your life where something really came through in a very desperate time, um, a financial burden. Um, maybe a family burden. Maybe something happened that needed something quick. So that's all I have for you today. Bye.